Hey students, this is Mrs. Foy, and I'm going to work through a molecular formula problem for you and a molecular formula problem with a hydrate. So here we go. Here's an example question. The formula mass of a compound is 92 grams per mole. Remember, if I'm going to ask you to calculate the molecular formula, I have to give it to you in the problem. I have to give you the molecular formula mass in the problem. That's what this 92 grams per mole is. Anyway, analysis of the compound shows that there are 0 0.608 grams of nitrogen and 1.388 grams of oxygen. What is the molecular formula of this compound? So notice, first of all, that you get to skip the first step because it's giving you grams instead of percent. So that's nice. You get to uh, skip that first step. So the first thing you're going to do is convert to moles. You've got the grams of both compounds. You uh, convert to moles using the molar mass of each compound, and you get uh, 0 0.0434 moles of nitrogen and 0 0.0868 moles of oxygen. So the next thing you do is divide through by the smallest mole, and when you do that, you get one mole of nitrogen and two moles of oxygen. So that is your empirical formula, NO2, okay? So now, to calculate the molecular formula, you have to calculate the empirical formula mass. So how heavy is the empirical formula? So I have one nitrogen and two oxygen, so that gives me 46.01 grams per mole. And then to calculate the molecular formula mass, I have to take the mass that was given in the problem, which was 92 grams, and then divide the molecular formula mass divided by the empirical formula mass. This is what I just calculated. And when you do that, 96 grams per mole divided by 46 grams per mole, notice that the units cancel out, and you get 1.999 or 2. And so that means that your molecular formula is a, uh, a multiple of 2 bigger than the empirical formula. The empirical formula was NO2, and my molecular formula is N2O4. Okay, so that's how you calculate the molecular formula in a problem that is not a hydrate. Now we're going to work on a problem where I'm asking you to calculate the molecular formula um, of a hydrate. This is a little more complicated, so hold on to your seatbelts and here we go, okay? A hydrated salt with a molecular mass of 174 grams per mole contains 31% water of hydration. An analysis reveals the following percentages. So it's giving me magnesium, phosphorus, hydrogen, and oxygen. What is the empirical and molecular formula of this hydrated compound? Okay, so the first thing that you have to realize is that all of those percentages that you were given here of the magnesium, the phosphorus, the hydrogen, and the oxygen equals 100%. So the 31% water is not part of the 100%. You have to calculate that separately, okay? You can't assume 100 grams of water. So you know the mass of the compound is 174 grams. That was given to you in the problem. And you know 31% of that is water. So you take 0.31 times 174, and you get 53.94 grams of water, okay? So how many moles of water is that? 53, we take the mass of the water times the molecular mass, 18.02 grams per mole, and you get 2.99, you can round that to three moles of water. So hold on to that three moles of water, because we're gonna need that later. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to calculate the empirical formula of the rest of the hydrate, leaving, forgetting the water part, because we got that three moles of water right now. We can assume that there are 100 grams of that, and so now we're going to get to the moles of each compound. So notice here, because I was given percents of the magnesium, the phosphorus, the hydrogen, and the oxygen, I can assume there's 100 grams of that. And so I'm going to take my mass of each of these elements, multiply it times the molar mass. Notice my grams cancel. I get to moles. And so I get the moles of each of these compounds. All right? So now what I'm going to do, you guessed it, divide by the smallest mole. And I see that the smallest mole is going to be this mole of magnesium. So I take each of those 
um, moles and I divide by the smallest mole. So I have 0.5718 moles of magnesium divided by 0.5718 and um, I get one mole of magnesium, 1.002 moles of phosphorus, so you know that's one mole of phosphorus. 6.94, I can round that to seven moles of hydrogen. And when I divide the moles of oxygen by the smallest mole, I get 7.028 or approximately, sorry, this should be seven moles of oxygen, okay? So that is my empirical formula, MgPH707, all right? So now I have to calculate my empirical formula mass. How heavy is that empirical formula? So I have one magnesium, I have one phosphorus, I have one, seven hydrogens and seven oxygens, and I add up the masses of all of those, and I get 174.35 grams per mole. Well, remember, the problem at the very beginning says that the molecular formula um, mass is 174 grams per mole. So the empirical formula mass equals the molecular formula. So that is really good. However, now we have to figure out the water of hydration. We have to figure out, remember we had those three moles of water that we calculated above. And some of this hydrogen and oxygen, guys, is in the water. So this is the tricky part of a hydrate problem. So here we go. Here's how we're going to figure this out. We have three moles of water, right? We have three moles of water that we calculated above. So we have six moles of hydrogen and three moles of water, or, or three moles of oxygen, sorry, are in that water. So let me say that again. Look at this three moles of water here. Remember, this is H2O. So in three moles of water, I have six moles of hydrogen. And in three moles of water, I have three moles of oxygen, all right? So I have six moles of hydrogen and three moles of oxygen in the water, all right? So remember, I calculated that I had seven moles of hydrogen in the empirical formula. Six of those are in my water. So I have one mole of hydrogen left over in the formula of the compound not going to be in the dot H2O. And in of the seven moles of oxygen that was in the empirical formula, three of those are in water. So I have four moles of oxygen left in the formula. So the molecular formula is MgH, because I had one H left over, one P, and then four oxygens left over, of the seven of the hydrogen, the seven moles of the oxygen, and then the three moles of water that I calculated at the very beginning of the problem are my moles of hydration, my three moles of hydration. The order of the elements here, if you didn't, um, if you put these in a different order, that's okay. I just recognize the polyatomic ion phosphate here. I just recognize that. And so the, uh, the name of this compound is actually magnesium, um, hydrogen phosphate trihydrate, um, or trihydride, sorry. And so if you uh, didn't get the order of these, that's okay, but I just uh, wanted, wanted you to see that. So that's a doozy of a problem. You may actually have to listen to the screencast over again and maybe write down the steps in your own handwriting how you did this problem, and then use that as a guide to calculate the other molecular formula hydrate problems that you have. Okay, good luck. And if you have any questions, I'll see you in class.